Hello and welcome to Auto Harp at the Altar. I'm Bay Allen. It is my pleasure to be bringing you a new song this week. Every week right here on the channel, we end up digging into a hymn or a song of the faith. And this week we are looking at Have Thine Own Way, Lord, which comes from 1902 for the, for the words and 1907 for the music. Um, so this is a very short song. We actually did this one in worship today, so I thought I would just teach it to you. Um, it's not difficult. Um, there's a couple places where in my arrangement I actually choose to just use a no chord um, because I think it actually lends a little bit better than trying to find a, a chord chord <laughs> with the note in it. And so I just kind of lift and try and pinpoint the best of my ability and hit that note in there. So I'll discuss that a little bit more as we're digging into it. Uh, but I'm going to teach you how to do this. We're, I'm playing it out of the key of G, actually, it looks like. Uh, it's originally an E flat. Um, so I'm just doing it out of G. I figured a lot of people would have a G position on their harp. And so you're going to need a one chord. You're going to need a five chord, a four chord, and that's it. Um, and the ability, and it'll take some practice to be able to, to just play with a no chord at all. Um, so you'll need, in G, you'll need a G, you'll need a C, you'll need a D. Um, and you'll have everything you need for this song. Um, anyways, the no chords I will point out for anyone who's playing diatonic, the, those are so that you hit that accidental um, within a chromatic. And so it may you may end up needing to just ignore that altogether if you're playing a diatonic or just find something that kind of works. Anyway, I'm going to show you how this works. So it's... One five one four one one five one five. Okay, so that's the first line. I'll go ahead and do that again. One five one four one one five one five. Go ahead and pause and practice that, and then come back. All right, welcome back. And so you should have the first line. We're going to play it through and then move on to the next one, which has one of those no chords. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. So, one, five, one, four, one, one, five, one, five, five, no. That's what you want. Hitting a chord with that note just doesn't sound the same. It's just a quick passing note. And so by itself, it sounds ugly. But in the context of song, passing note. So it's going to be five, no, five, five, no chord, five, one, five, five, one, five, one. So again, five, no, five, one, five, five, one, five, one. So that'll take some practice, but you want to train your ear to hear what is acceptable for you. Um, because essentially in co context is everything. So if you were to play this by itself, I'd say hideous, but if you're going, it works. You can hit a lot of bad notes and it still works. Because it's context. Right? And because you're only doing it that one time, the, 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 the strength of the chords following it pull the ear, the listener, right back in. So it doesn't sound like you missed a note. Um, so let's practice that and then, yeah, go ahead and pause, practice that and then come back. I'll do it one more time for you. So it's five, no, five, five, no, five, one, five, five, one, five, one. Okay. So pause and practice. All right. Welcome back. So you got the first two lines. Let's play those together and I'll move on to the third, which has a similar no chord, but in the upper register. So here we go. One, five, one, five, one, one, five, one, four, one, one, five, one, five, five, no, five, one, five, five, one, five, one, one, five, one, four, one, one no one. Okay. One no one four. One no one four. One no 
chord one four. Okay, so let me do this line again. I am the you are the clay, I am the clay. So it's mo one five one four one one no one no one four. So go ahead and pause and practice that, and then come right back. All right, welcome back. We almost have this song completed. Um, we have the first three lines. We just have one more to go. So let's play what we got and then add the last one. One five one four one. One five one five five zero oh, five one five five one five one one five one four one one zero oh, one four four five four one one five one five one. So that last line is four five four one one five one five one. Go ahead and pause and practice that, and you have the whole song. All right, welcome back. So let's just play it together. it is have thy known way lord i hope you enjoyed learning this lesson today uh, if you haven't already subscribe so you never miss a video when they go live head over to facebook look up auto harp at the altar you'll find my roadmap for this song and many others to help you as you're learning um until next week god bless and i pray that this song was a blessing to you so that you may bless others through it have a great week talk to you soon